Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Tommy Tuesday. Um, I just wanted to, you know, really want to give you guys some updates. <clears throat> I know it's been a while. First and foremost, I want to let you guys know that my computer is completely done. Um, it will be going to the Apple Store um, tomorrow morning to get fixed up. Um, yeah, it's currently sick right now. But anyways, um... Whew, I'm so excited, guys. Um, we just finished recording with... <clears throat> this guy is a platinum recording, you know, engineer. Um, he works with... He worked with Britney Spears. He worked with um, Aaron Carter. A lot of people. Numerous of people. He was on Jive Records and all this stuff. You know, so it's um it's a positive, positive thing for us. Uh, we got some new things going on right now. You know, we're actually about to head back right now. I'm about to head over there in a little bit to lay down probably a little bit more leads on there and what else oh yeah i cut my hair everyone i know everyone's like oh i didn't believe it because i didn't put anything up um, i look i didn't need to you know people i knew it was gonna people were gonna find out anyway i decided not to tell anybody so i didn't get talked out of it and i did it on wednesday so it's been or right, may 1st so it's a new year for me, pretty much, um, new look, and it takes getting used to, because some nights I, I go and, you know, I try to wrap my hair, I'm like, why am I wrapping my hair, you know? I could get in the shower, and I put, before I get in the shower, I put my shower cap on, uh, shower cap on, and I'm like, what am I doing? I don't need it. So, <clears throat> yeah, it's exciting, it's exciting, but um, I like it. So, you know, it takes getting used to, but it'll be alright. So, and, um... For those of you who love the dreads, I'm sorry, you know, I had to do it, you know, it's, um, I, I look at it, it's society, guys, um, I don't know what it is, and, um, as a business owner, you know, I think it's, uh, it takes, I feel like I could relate to more people if I, if I didn't have the dreads, you know, um, you know, business was really, really good for me already, and, but I feel like, just doing that just kind of gave me an upper advantage. Now, you know, when I'm talking to people, you know, it's not a, it's not a distraction. Or when I'm, you know, doing a presentation, a business meeting, it's, you know, it looks presentable. So this is the reason why I did what I had to do so that I can, cons so I can secure my financial future, you know, um, in business. Now, uh, music business, you know, it's always a look. I can always, you know, change it around, do different things with it. So it's not that bad. I still have my voice. I can still sing. Um, it didn't take away from my playing. Um, still play the piano, drums, bass, whatever it is that I play. Um, but, but I guess today I just want to make sure that you guys, um, you know, I said I wanted to secure my financial future. I just wanted to leave you guys with a few things. I really want you guys to really take some time for yourselves, guys. Um, find something else, you know. Don't allow the this American dream that we're, you know, the going to school, um, getting good grades, and then getting a good job, or getting an education and get a good job. Don't let that be your, be, um, you know, your the end result. Because right now, that really worked, you know, for Generation X, but for Generation Y, that really doesn't work for us anymore, guys. You need to create some multiple streams of income. And that's what I'm doing. You know, that's why I have my own business. And that's why I teach others. I, te I work with professionals, doctors, lawyers. I work with all these type of people. And I teach them how to make money online without disturbing what they do. Now, I need you guys to find something. Um, you know, find a system, guys. You know, you shouldn't have to wake up every day and clock in for the rest of your life. Um, if you're under the age of 25, um, this is not my facts. You can go look it up yourself. Um, Social Security Administration dot gov ssa dot gov if you are under the age of 25 your retirement age will be 82 so if you're 20 good luck i'm proud of you if you feel like you're the person that you just want to work and work for work for someone for the rest of your life so be it your retirement age will be 82 so um i hope you have a great time clocking in for the next 60 years of your life um or 62 years of your life and i don't think that's something that you want to do so, guys, I'm dead serious. Please do something for yourself, guys. Um, you know, if you have a dream, just go ahead and do it. And I always talk about dreams because I feel like 
is very important because people miss out on a lot of things in life because they don't have their own dreams. Because if you, my friends, if you don't, if you don't build your dreams, someone else is gonna hire you so you could build their dreams. Now I have this little this thing that kind of blew my mind, and that's why I really never want to work for anybody, and I never will work for anyone. As in right now, I own my own business, and I like I said, I teach others. But like, guys, have you imagined? Like, I saw this Facebook page, um, post, <clears throat> and it, I was reading it while I was driving, which you shouldn't do, guys. Please don't do that. I almost crashed, right? So listen to what it says. I saw my boss pull up in his brand new car today, right? And I complimented him on it. I said, nice car. You know what he told her? He said, if you set your goals and if you're determined and you put in long hours, you know, and, you know, you just do what you need to do, I can get a better car next year. I was like, whoa. I couldn't believe it. I could not believe it. That is, I think that's so disrespectful. And I'm, to me, I'm like, wow, that's a blow to my face. I'm like, you know. We're actually helping those CEOs and all that stuff. You know, when you're working for someone, you know, they could get the brand new cars, you know, and they're happy if you put in more hours, if you're determined, if you put new goals into the company, you know, but that's not, don't let that be your story. So I just want to leave that with you guys. You know, if that did anything for you guys, you know, cool. You know, email me if you need more information, how you can do or start your own business. I don't mind. But other than that, guys, um, committed. We're doing really good. We're so excited about the single that's about to drop soon. Um, look out for it. Pray for us because it's a new new thing that we're doing, a new genre. You know, we're excited about, you know, you know, singing some pop inspirational. So, you know, just be with us. And again, keep us in prayer. And thank you so much for all the support, guys. I'm just glad that I was able um, to use someone's computer so I could actually put this up. And I really wanted to put this up for you guys um, so that you guys can actually see that I, you know, have a haircut. I know some people didn't believe it, like, oh, whatever. So, but anyways, um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys learned something. And I will see you guys next Tuesday. Bye-bye.